to check out your class for me. So this is uh, grade eight. Grade eight, yeah. And when you look at their, uh, their time schedule, the subjects they have on a uh, daily basis throughout the week, from Monday to Friday, yeah. Traditionally, so it's yeah. comprised of all these three faiths. Yeah. You try to get them open to. You have a you have a choice to make. So you allow them to make their own choices. You know. And um, Harris. <laughs> Sorry. C A R I S. Creative arts. There's a creative art. Yeah. That's there. Physical education. What is it? P E. Physical education. Yeah. Okay. Now here I see that's uh, the first time there, so I think I'll start teaching you this one. No, fancy. Oh. I see I see teach So y'all teach them now one of the fancy languages in the face. Okay. Okay. DDT. DDT. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. DDT yeah. yeah. is uh basic design the and technology. technology. Oh, wow. oh, okay. Design Let's see technology. What else? Yeah. Uh, What's your ICT here? ICT. How is your ICT here? Yes, information, information, communication. Oh, okay. So I'll ICT. I'll ICT. So I would, I would uh, ask of you uh, who, are, who are leaders in the, in the academics to tell my my kids here. I try to get them to understand that things that they are learning here. Is a global knowledge, mm -hmm. you know, but it's not just limited to their society mm -hmm. or community. So therefore, you are learning here and you are willing taking it seriously. Mm -hmm. If you move out there, you can easily connect with people of similar minds, of similar ideologies and stuff. Yeah, you can tell them something for me, please. Tell them about it. Tell, you tell people, everybody tell people, tell you want somebody to tell me. Well, you got three educators here. One, two, three, and the rest of y'all just start. I do educate. I'm not a teacher. Okay, everything that you learn here, you can literally build a business. You know, say for instance, um, computer is a computer information technology. technology information yeah. technology. That's how machines, as well as you, learn how to communicate, cause the machines to communicate so that when people use them, they can interface with it better. And that's a lot of money. Like IBM, those IT yeah. um, people, looking for people with that knowledge. So continue learning that. Okay, next thing you know, you get paid more than all of us. <laughs> that's okay. right. Yeah. Math is a science. Remember that. Math is a science. A lot of things you learn in math is a science. Mm -hmm. So if you're talking about the number line, you know, all that is in it. Literacy, English is in everything. Because if you don't know how to analyze the problem and understand the problem, how can you solve it? Some people can solve problems, but then when you ask them to, you know, repeat or tell them how they did it step by step, they don't know how to do it. You need to know how to do both. Yes. Step by step procedures, write it, as well as do the calculations, the figures. Okay, and math, like everything else, it tells everything. So if I'm teaching about Pythagorean theorem, you know, which all of it came out of ancient, out of Africa, out of Egypt, yeah. I'm going to talk about, you know, bring them to, I'm going to bring them to the pyramid, which I've already been to Egypt three times. But even before going there, you know, you cannot talk about because that's how that's how um, the pyramids were structured by Pythagorean theorem, and um, the Greeks, they were thieves. When they didn't know anything, they went to Africa, they copied all these different theorems, and they put their name on it. So whether you talk about Euclid or whoever, everything came out of Africa. 
And we're all students for life. And where was math created? Here. Yeah. Astronomy. Everything. Mm -hmm. Geometry. Yes. Trigonometry, algebra, we can go on and on and on and on. And you love to count your money. That's right. Right? <laughs> yeah. Math is important. Yes, statistics. You know, a lot of us, we're in the banking world and stuff too. So the banks, every, everything. When you talk about investments, every bit of entrepreneurship, oh, every yeah. business is in business to make a what? Profit. Profit. So you maximize, that's right, maximize yeah. your profits and minimize your losses. So again, that's vocabulary. So vocabulary, that's like the ELA. All of these subjects, the Europeans separate them, but they are all intertwined. Exactly. They all took that. I know so they had like, the science pollination and stuff. I was learning that as a kid, cross pollination, um, pollination, uh, photosynthesis, all of that. Even before they gave, came up with the words with DNA and stuff, we were talking about that, you know, in school, like in the 80s and stuff like that, high school. You know, we were talking about so everything is interrelated. So, you understand what she said, right? If you had, if you read statistics and you met another lady who had read statistics somewhere else, and you meet on a dining table, you have a very beautiful conversation because you are you, from different worlds but have learned literally the same thing. That's right. Then you have you learn the same applies to businesses. It all comes down to the profit. That's right. You know I mean? And think about the economy, yeah. the gross national the growth, product, yeah. GFP. The economy, economics, you know, all the business yeah. background. We did micro, yes. we did like I did micro business, microeconomics, we did micro, micro the small, micro yeah. the big one. So we talk about a global society. So micro, macro, comparative economic micro theory. M I is small math. That's M right. Very big. big. Yeah, this yeah. right. So we have four people who are interested in food. Yeah. Which yeah. Is and that's math, food, all the best Yes. All of these classes, finance, so it doesn't matter the school and stuff, it's all related. And we all had to learn it. Let us not hold ourselves and let us because of our community. I always tell you, it is the mind we are building that is important. Yes. So if we stack ourselves in our littleness because of what we see around us, we will grow in that shell. <laughs> but as we project our mind to see ourselves outside the world, because of what we are learning, then we can hold it. Because what we have here, we can hold it. Do you understand? I always tell you this. And I'm so grateful we have our great mothers, great teachers, to come here to come and come and let you know that you are not just learning for Ayesudu. You are learning for the world. You are the next future leaders. You choose your, you choose your position in the next 15, 20 years. Yes. You understand? Yes. All right, thank you.